<laughs> I'm going to put on my teabagger hat. <laughs> And admit, <laughs> they are right about one thing. We have to bring down the national debt. <laughs> it's insane what the debt costs America every year. <laughs> we pay about $400 billion just in interests. That's almost as bad as having a credit card with Capital One. <laughs> But the problem with the Tea Party movement, <laughs> besides their almost universal rejection of dentistry, <laughs> is that they want money for nothing and chicks for free. <laughs> they want a deregulated free market and their jobs to stay here in the U.S. They want guaranteed health coverage regardless of pre-existing conditions, but without a big government mandate. They want to call themselves teabaggers and people to keep a straight face. <laughs> and of course, they want big tax cuts along with deficit reduction. I can't even think of a suitable analogy for that disconnect. It's like thinking getting a hand job will clean your garage. <laughs> now, in fairness, this isn't just the tea beggars. Ask the American people how they want to tame the deficit by raising taxes or cutting spending. And cutting spending wins always, by a huge margin. Next question. So what government spending do you want to see cut? Answer, nothing. Not a thing. America is like a family that spends way more than they bring in. But mom won't give up her shopping sprees, and dad won't give up that big, stupid boat he bought. <laughs> Even now, when we utterly can't afford a big, stupid boat. <laughs> And you know what America's stupid boat is? It's our empire. We have an empire. We have half a million of our troops in other people's countries all over the world. That is our boat. And maintaining that empire and everything that goes into defense costs us about a trillion dollars a year, most of which goes to fighting the Russians in 1978. <laughs> fighter planes for all those dog fights we get into with the Taliban. <laughs> Submarines to foil their evil plot to blow up our ships with car bombs. <laughs> and space lasers to shoot down their exploding underpants. <laughs> what defense spending really is, is a giant welfare program, a jobs program for defense workers to build crap we don't need. So... So when teabaggers scream about handouts, this is what they should be protesting. We spend more on weapons than the next top 15 military powers combined. Let's cut it in half so we only spend as much as the next eight countries combined and see if anyone invades us. So teabaggers... Teabaggers, if you'll look into that, I will believe you really are, we the people, what about our grandchildren, patriots? But if you're unwilling to cut defense and give up the empire, you don't really care about the debt, and you have to admit you're just a racist, sore loser. Here's your hat. All right, I will be at the Tower Theater in Philadelphia this Sunday, April 25th. I want to thank Matthew Cottonetti, Susan Eisenhower, Alan Grace, and Richard Clark. And Dr. Jack Kevorkian. And don't forget, you can watch this now on Overtime by going to HBO.com. Thank you, folks.